Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Box. Tracy here, and this is a video that's got um, yarn in it. So it's got some yarn that I found in when I went in search of yarn shops for Yarn Fix Friday. Okay, I know the last one was called Yarn Fix Thursday, but um, I guess Yarn Fix could go in front of any day. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah, just anyway. So I managed to find it and um i'll tell you all about that in a minute and then when i got home i had some free samples that i'd asked for so this is not gigantic as you can see so um i'm a little concerned that the things i asked for are really not in there um and maybe just one or two things that i kind of tagged on the end of my request i don't know but i feel like they're giving away less maybe that's probably what it is anyway so I went out, out in search of the yarn shop. Um, Gary and I went to lots of places. We had lots of little errands to run and everything else. So um, if you watched my earlier chat, you'll know we were going to go to see um, uh, Expendables, whatever, 150 at the cinema. But well, time ran away. And so we're not going now. We'll go uh, one day next week when we're going to have chance for it to sort of die down then the interest because, um, you know, day one, it will be more, more people. So yeah, we figured i will come home and show you what I managed to find in the yarn shop. So I've got a little leaflet in here somewhere in this bag. So this is the bag. It's not, um, from the shop, obviously, this is just one that they had, um, there for me to have a little look at. So um, it's part of, I'll, I'll find that as we go, it's part of another shop. Um, so obviously I guess owned by the same people, but when you get to the end, you've got a kind of like a little partition and then the wall shop is behind it. So um, I got talking to them, they're absolutely lovely people. Um, and well, it's opened since July, so it's not been going very long, but, um, we shared some ideas as well, which is good, and some um, wholesale kind of info and things like that, which is always helpful. But um, yeah, really lovely. Really, really, really impressed with that little kind of, I'd say, shop within a shop. So I didn't really get much chance to, to look um, as much as I wanted to because um, Gary was waiting for me and he had all these errands to run, as I said. So I had a little, little peruse. I will go back again for more, but... I got some yarn that um, I haven't seen before or I haven't in my own um, stash. I haven't, you know, bought any of or as you know, we have a shortage of bricks and mortar walk into yarn shops. They've uh, been closing at a rate of knots and the ones that I was used to seeing have gone. Um, the ones around here were affiliated as well. I've got a bit of a twitch in it, but I don't really see that. I don't know what's going on with it. I feel like I'm getting a Marilyn Monroe thing going on. It's just really wind me up. So if it does happen, you know, and you see it, it's so it's very frustrating. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, I got kind of sidetracked then. Sorry, by the 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 twitchy lip. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. I've, this is my second one that I've done. Um. And I will, I will do these. The the yarn shops we did have before were kind of affiliated to a specific brand. Like we had a lady in town that did King Cole, then a lady on the mainland that did James C. Brett, and it was seemed that was all they did. Um, personally, I like a lot of variety when I'm looking at yarn, or a bit of variety. And one good thing about this particular place is they have. It's not massive, but they have nice variety and they have somebody who's made some stuff for them so you can see how it works up now a little while ago um if you've been watching me for a while you know i brought some of that robin paint box and it was the splash not unfortunately not the the robin paint box that i really used to love but the splash is beautiful and i had it here remember i had really beautiful vivid blue and a pastel color and i think a pink no a mauve pinky blue and then I got that vivid colour 
Well, I didn't get this one, but now I've got some to show you. And it is really, really pretty. So I did buy about three of these. Um, they're not all together in the same place, but that's because it's in a bag. I could have got it out, but I was in a bit of a bit of a hurry, I have to say. Always upside down, isn't it? Um, this is just colour 14, which, you know, it really doesn't do it justice, does it? But the other one was um, more colourful. This one's got whites in, which, um, you know, is good. It got a bit of um, more pastel shades, I think. The other one, although it was pastel, uh, wasn't really as pastel as this one. Does that make any sense? Probably not. More vibrant. Not as vibrant as the really bright one, though. 100% acrylic. 360 metres, 393 yards. DK weight. Look at those colours, though. Reminds me of the ice cream yarn. You know, the, the um, Lion Brand ice cream yarn? I'm having trouble with my neck, like, getting all bendy out of shape. Right, we'll put it on. I've put a thing specially down for it to go on, so it's not like I'm throwing it on the floor or anything. And I also have a little bit of shh yarn in my shop. I don't have much, but um, I don't really like to um put in too many different orders so although this is a james c brett yarn and i do stock james c brett i haven't ordered from them for quite some time but this one caught my eye because again you know i'm getting a bit of a rep for liking these pastel really pretty kind of rainbow colors and i thought that would like really look very very pretty oh i could actually tell you how much that was maybe no didn't have a price on it um now this is a little bit better value, I think, than some of the others that I've found because I've never really got this under four pounds and it was a little bit cheaper than that. It was uh, 3 50 but I really like this. I thought it looked nice on a like a little set for Christmas, maybe a scarf and hat. So I got a few just to make something when my hands are better. And then that can be either for someone else or for myself. Um, not sure. I'm losing my light again. Now, this was the other ones of the... Well, it does look very much like ice cream now. There we go. Like I said, I didn't buy masses. And I bought a few of each ball so that I could do something with it. It wouldn't just be kind of wasted. And as you know, I've said before that... Sometimes when I buy yarn, if I'm not going to use it myself and it's a well-known brand, I'll put it in my mystery boxes or in my Santa sacks and things like that. So it won't ever go wasted. That's the, the main thing. Now this one, I have something very similar to this and it is not by Robin. Um, but you'll see why I got this when, when I show you the yarn. Um, I was going to... The one that I have... I've got a feeling um, it was a Sirdar, not sure. But I was going to make a shawl with it, with black. The black had black glitz and the blue had this blue glitz. It is stunning. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. So I got this just to see um, how it compares to the one that I've got. Because I've got a big yarn box. And it's one of those where... You can store all your hooks and everything else. And do you know what I use it for? I use it as a doorstop. <laughs> Seriously. It, uh, yeah, it stops my door from just opening on its own. And I very rarely even look in it now. But it's a big case of... Never use it. Never use it. But um, it has got the blue and the black that I did actually... was going to make the shawl for myself for going out in the evening. And I still haven't done it. So this is pretty decent value. It's £2.80. I think the blue that I got was way more expensive than that because I think it was, I say, a Sirdar or a, a, an expensive brand anyway. So this is... Um, where are we? Oh, 290 metres, 317 yards. Acrylic... 93%, um, polyester 7%, that would be the glitzy bit. So what I like about when they have polyester glitz is it's not scratchy. You don't really feel it. It's just, you know, nice. And I dare say it would wash up a little nicer as well. 
but I only got a couple of those um, because as I say I've got the other one here we are this is the leaflet it's called the wool gallery it's a nice leaflet I need to get some leaflets made actually I should have asked her where she got them done but um, I was just going to see so we've got let's get crafting on one side which is the rest of the shop and then the wool gallery is at the back and if you are from this area and you want to find the wall gallery, 159 High Street, Sheerness, that's where you can locate it. And it is at the back of the shop. But they're lovely people, uh, family run. And um, yeah, very, very nice. So what else did I get? Oh, I got a white one to go with that blue, just in case I wanted to make something with it. I could put it with the white. Although I was putting the other one with black. So this is yarn that I've never seen before and um, haven't had, but you'll see why I picked this up. Look at that. Isn't that just absolutely wowza? This is James Seabrett yarn and I might have to put in a little order soon if I, um, um, a few things that I've seen that I really, really like, but isn't that amazing? Look at those colours. Just, whoa breathtaking but expensive i have to say it's not considering you know um northern lights used to be quite dear but this is 550 meters 599 yards um and it's called tropics it's a 200 gram ball skein cake so that's why it's a little dearer so it's not really it's just uh where are we price is missing i think it was about five pounds something well, here we go no it was six pound fifty but i wanted it so um i figured need that in my life needed it needed it in my life so this is the stuff that i've never really encountered either it's called fun fair helter skelter um and this one this cut oh look you know what i'm gonna say now yarn boobies guys yarn boobies yes indeedy Put that one down and we'll see all about this one. It's an emu yarn. Now, I've only ever used or had a colour pack from um, Knitting Network who bought out emu. And I wasn't impressed with that yarn. It split a lot. Um, but there's lots of other yarns. So I'm giving them a go. And this is one of them. And I might stock them. So, if they're good. This was £2.50. Not a bad little cake gorgeous colours this one's called splash and da, 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 where are we um there we go 360 meters 394 yards i think it's a dk and it is 100 grams they've got a little illustration of how it works up if you're knitting but obviously those kind of swatches they only really make a difference when you're looking at a size you know you need to know what size that was the other one i chose was this one now there are lots of them and this lovely lady has somebody who makes up um garments for her like little hats and baby cardigans and stuff like that and this worked up does look stunning absolutely gorgeous so these were the only two colors that i got because i figured i will use these um and I wanted to maybe give them a try. Um, so that's it. There's my little bill. See that lovely, lovely, lovely lady gave me a discount. Isn't that sweet? I did sort of say, but she um, kind of tongue in cheeked about the discount. And then I got one, which is um, which was fabulous. I think I did anyway. I know they were trying to put it on. Whether it came off or not, I don't know. We'll see. I will find it. Yeah, I, I think I did. Did get a little discount there. So that's cool. So I might as well show you, as it's not exactly worth doing a separate video for my Happy Mail, I think I'll do that at the same time. So that's, um, this is some yarn that I asked Signet for um, to see if I would like to stock it. Mm, it's a bag within a bag. So inside the bag, is a little signet bag. <laughs> wow, it seems like a TARDIS. I think there's more in there than I thought. Okay, so let's empty this. 
out. Let's see what we've got. Oh, now I've got this. And I did ask for to see this. This is some kind of t-shirt yarn, but it's a nylon. Um, make a good basket. Well, it'd make quite a lot of things, wouldn't it? Let's see, it does open up. It's like a stocking. It opens out like this. That's unusual. But there's no yarn band, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, although I did ask them to send it to me. This is Boho Spirit. <laughs> kind of a bit bedraggled. But I wanted to see what the new colours were like. And this is one of them. Um, this is called Soleil. Soleil. Soleil? Really? There's nothing sole about that, is there? But it's pretty. If you like your greens, well, with a bit of shocking fuchsia pink. And is that purple? Oh, I think it might be. It's kind of a purpley, yeah. Purples and blues and pinks and light blues. It's actually pretty. Really, really nice. But sole? Not really. Um, compliment slip. They've only sent me the bohos. Well, the big list I asked for, whether I'll get that separately or not, I don't know. Now, this one I would have thought would be called Sole. It's actually called Unicorn. Oh, ready for this? Whoa. <sighs> Doesn't that just pop? That's beautiful. So I haven't really told you much about... I can't tell you much about that one. The band is missing. But um, this is obviously Starcraft. Starcraft. Um, Signet Boho Spirit, which I do stock lots of. 100% premium acrylic. It's gorgeous. It's, um, I've got the twitchy lip again. Uh, four weight yarn. And if, uh, if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's, um, Red Heart Unforgettable. Because some of them are identical. Just saying. Um, mum, 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 mum. So if you're missing your Red Heart Unforgettable, then this one is for you. Because this is the same so that's that one and there's one more oh yeah i did i do remember asking for a little bit of a um oh this is lovely this is a feel of yeti they've got a yarn out now called yeti and i wanted to see what it was like because it's furry and there you go there's a strand of it so it is f like a fur a lot of people say they don't like to work with this sort of stuff. They can't find their stitches, but I see them. I see those stitches really easily. Plus, you can feel for them. But, oh, that is beautiful. It's like the colour of candy floss. Not, not that I'm on a diet and starving or something, but, you know, need of food. It's called Powder Puff. Powder Puff. Isn't that nice? I like that. Okay. 100 grams is 130 metres, 142 yards. Powder puff. And so it looks like that's all she wrote then, guys. That's all I'm going to get. Um, one new cake of thingy. <laughs> Wish it had a band. Um, that would have been more, that would have been very helpful, Signet. Um, but it is on, you know, I did sort of see it. Um that could make a really nice basket or something. I like the way that's kind of wound. Isn't that intriguing? It's like a little snail, isn't it? Like spiral. I like it. So I might make something with that. Because a little while ago, if you watched my unboxings from Timu of the crafty stuff, I did get some basket bottoms or bag bottoms. Um, both, in fact. And um, this looks like it would be perfect for it. Although it's not as sturdy as t-shirt yarn, it reminds me a little bit of that. Um, I've used a yarn like this before, but it was much, much thinner. And I think I made my um, tote bag with it a long while ago. The world and his wife have made those tote bags. But, you know, one of those granny square totes that are all kind of diamondy. But this, I don't know if it's going to be sturdy or not, because... It is very drapey. It's not like t-shirt yarn or sturdy. I'll have to uh, look it up and see what's best to make with it. I'll tuck the end in for now because it's got no band to keep it from unravelling. So I'll just tuck it in. 
that is my yarn haul from my lovely, lovely yarn shop. And I hope that um, they do really, really well at the Wall Gallery because I have to say they were lovely and um, I really, really liked it there. So, um, and it, with the, the island needs a yarn shop because, you know, there are people who want to walk into a shop and buy yarn and they don't always, you know, want to go online. And there's people who are, you know, haven't got computers. They don't have that kind of technology to do that. So we've got a kind of a different clientele, if you like. And sometimes even us people that mostly order online, we like to go in and have a grope of some yarn, you know, why not? That's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting some squishies. So, thank you for watching. And um, if you're ever, it find yourself on the Isle of Sheppey, you want to take yourself off and check out the Wall Gallery. Sorry, I didn't, didn't get a name, which is sad. But if you're watching, because they might, thank you, and I will see you again. Bye for now, everyone.